second graders, my name is Mrs. Ms. Wiki, and I am the math coach over at Lowell. And today we're going to be doing a number talk with a which one doesn't belong picture of a bunch of different coins. So I'm going to turn the screen right to our which one doesn't belong picture. And I have two helpers with me today. Um, they're my daughters, Allie and Jamie. So they're going to be also playing along. And this is the really only the first, second time they've ever seen a which one doesn't belong, so they're kind of getting used to it, just like maybe some of you are. So right now, go ahead and take a look at the picture and think to yourself why you think one is different from the rest. And you might want to go ahead and pause to give yourself some think time and maybe even think about more than one reason why different ones would not belong. Okay, girls, do you want to give me your first thoughts? All right, Jamie, which one do you think doesn't belong. Just tell us the number, but not a reason yet. Number one. Okay, Allie? Uh, number one as well. Okay, so you guys are agreeing. Jamie, what were you thinking why number one doesn't belong? Because there is a bunch of coins and the other ones are only like two or one coin. Okay, so there's a bigger pile. Allie? Uh, I just thought because number one, uh, the pennies are brown and the rest are uh, silver. Okay. All right, so the girls both agreed on number one and they kind of just went by the color and the amount there. So, um, girls, is there another one? Is there, can you pick out another picture that might not belong? Um, number four, because the coin is like flipped to like the tail side. Oh, okay, then what coin is that? A dime. Okay, so on number four, she's saying that the dime, we see the back, or as she said, the tails, because that's what we call them, heads and tails. If you look at the pennies, the pennies up in number one are all flipped to their head side. Number two, girls, what picture is that? coin quarter. a quarter the quarter has his head showing and actually in number three they're showing the heads and the tails but like she said that one does have a head showing so we would say that number four maybe doesn't belong because it only is showing the tail Allie do you have a, another uh, number two because okay. That amount is 25 cents and the rest are 10 cents if oh, okay. you add them all together. Okay, so can you explain that for number one? So number one, you can count all the pennies because each penny equals one cent. Okay, so, so if we counted that, we would count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Or we can also think there's, this kind of looks like a ten frame to me. So it looks like a full 10 frame. We have five on the top and five on the bottom. So we know that there's 10 pennies. So that's 10 cents. Okay. And, and then for number three, they are nickels, which are worth five cents. So five plus five equals 10. Okay. Cents. And what about number four? Oh, that is a dime, which is already worth 10 cents. Okay. And then the number two was a quarter, which you said was 25 cents. So we now have a reason for number one. We have a reason for number two, and we have a reason for number four. Is there any reason why we can think why number three might not belong? Well, I was just thinking, just like you said, like I said for number four, that three, there's one head showing and one tail showing. Okay, so because that one has just two and they're showing a head and a tail, while the other ones are either only showing all heads or all tails. Good. Anything mm -hmm. else, girls, that you can think of? And sometimes it's hard to think of reasons for all of them. I think we did a pretty good job. So maybe some of you thought of a different reason. And if you did, you can go ahead and maybe tell your teacher, tell your math coach, and give them an idea and help us out and share what your thoughts were. Thank you for playing.